Over in the crumbling landscape and structures of Lua lie a number of puzzles to complete. Some are a little more obvious than others, but all of them grant rewards you cannot get anywhere else. I'm going to show you where to find these puzzles, what rewards they give you, and the only loadout you'll need for every single one of them. So, I'm the Kenjineer, let's solve a practical problem. Firstly, the missions. There's two key missions that I can recommend for this. The first is Plato, a Crossfire Exterminate, which will allow you and your friends to easily smash the enemy down and leaves you free to focus on the challenge rooms as you find them. There's no need to go hunting, as one to three rooms will be found along the main killing path. This mission also has caches, which, if you open just one of them, that can give you a chance at the Octavia Systems blueprint. The other mission to consider is Grimaldi, a mobile defence mission. The mobile defence consoles are often placed in challenge rooms, allowing you to multitask objective and challenge. Given you're stuck in the location for a bit of time, you may as well get the extra loot. All challenge rooms can show up on either mission, so pick your favourite. I did most of the recording for this on Plato. As for your loadout, you only need one frame and loadout to do all the challenges. Most frames can be used for most of them, but there's a couple extra bits to consider to really crack out the puzzles. The two stars for these then are the frame Limbo and the mod Adaptation. Limbo can passively gain energy in the rift, protect mobile defence consoles, that's if you're doing Grimaldi, and bypasses certain hurdles for a couple challenges. Adaptation is an absolute win for another challenge, allowing any frame to do it, no sweat. You can also consider using Wukong if you're adept at using him, but you basically can't go wrong with Limbo here. If you're running solo, also equip some cheap spectres into your gear wheel. This is needed for one of the challenge rooms, but again, only if you're solo. Okay, so you've got your loadout. Let's have a quick look at the rewards you're working towards here. There are eight challenges in total. Agility, co-action, cunning, endurance, power, speed, stealth, and music. The first seven all reward one of the drift mods, each unique to the challenge, and those drift mods are low power mods for the extra slot which improve multiple stats at a time. The eighth puzzle doesn't reward a drift mod, but instead rewards the Octavia chassis blueprint, and that is a guaranteed drop. Also, it comes with a chance to reward a fully built former. And now, the puzzles. So this first one is the agility puzzle. There are a number of targets to shoot in a specific sequence, and each time you shoot one, one of the organ pipes will open up, which you need to fall into to jump up to do the next one. You cannot land on the ground between shots. You can only land on the organ pipes. I'm just going to show this one rather than talk you through bit by bit. It's easier that way for this particular challenge. That final harmony means you've completed the challenge, you can now land onto the ledge or the floor, it's perfectly fine, and switch yourself into operator mode to whiz on through into the reward room. The next challenge then is the co-action challenge, which you can do solo, using spectres, or you can do it in a group. And you start by standing on this pressure plate here to cause a few other platforms to come down. Once they're in position, the second person, or yourself in operator mode, heads over to the second pad here and that completes the first stage. The next stage is you then go to the corner pillar here, and you want to leave your warframe here, or leave your friend here, and then yourself in operator, or the second frame, goes down to activate this pressure pad. You move through into the cave, and down another section, to activate the pressure pad right below it. This you'll repeat three more times on each of the other corners, so that's activating the corner pillar, leaving that person there, and then activating the two cave pads. On completing the fourth and final corner, you'll see in the centre of the room a number of pads are lying vertically, and that's for you to head on over to make your way up into the final room. 
So this room is the final stage, and this is where you need the spectres or your friend. You need to activate all four pressure pads at the same time. So that means leaving a Warframe and Operator on two of them, and then two Spectres for the other two, or a second Warframe and the second Operator. If you bring in a group of four people, no one needs Operators, just everyone stand on a pad I guess. If you are using the Spectre method, you will need to put them on hold position so they stay on their pads. With all four pads pressed, and the ceiling fully opened, you can then go in and claim your reward. The next test is the Cunning Test, located in a room with four pillars and this curious orb sat in the ground next to them. To start the test, shoot out these two pads blocking the water flow to the orb, and once the water reaches the orb, that will start the test itself. The orb is hostile and unkillable, so the cunning part of this test is instead tricking the orb into attacking the pillars found within this room. You do this by standing behind one of the pillars forcing the orb to come attack you from that side, and then just before it's going to hit you with its attack, you jump out of the way, so the attack hits the pillar instead. The first and third time you do this, the orb will spin in the centre of the room, throwing out a number of radiation zones, whilst on the second time that you do this, it will instead create a kind of a whirlwind effect, sucking you in to be damaged and killed by the orb. The fourth time you're successful, the test is complete. This next test is the Endurance one, and this is the reason we have the Adaptation mod equipped. The test itself is you need to stand in the centre of this platform, taking laser fire for the entire duration, whilst a cylinder fills up with water on the side of the room. If you leave this position, you'll have time to return back to it, but if you've got the Adaptation mod, you don't need to. You just sit here, and sit here, and sit here, until the water finally fills up. It's really as easy as that. You can then go in and claim your reward. The next test, the power test, is even easier. You don't need any mods, you just need 200 energy. You go up to one of these blue orbs on the side of the wall, and wait for it to take 50 energy from you. Then you go to the next one, let it take 50 energy, repeat two more times, and the stairway in the centre of the room is opened up. That's it, that's the entire test. The only actual test going on here is to even realise there's a challenge to do in the first place. This crazy looking room here is the start of the speed challenge, and you start that by shooting that little gun plate right there. There's two corridors to go through, both of them with a timer on the door before you can go through. If you're limbo, pop into the rift, and make your way through as quickly as possible. The first corridor has thumpers and these closing doors, so you need to run your way through quickly as possible before the doors close. And if you're limbo, you can ignore the thumpers. Once you're through and you've shot the plate there, you can do the second room. This one has icy floors and rising pillars. Again, limbo, if he's in a rift, can just ignore the icy floors, but the pillars will still get in the way if you're not careful. As before, make your way through as quickly as possible and apparently find yourself a uh, hidden cache. Well, there we go. That's a double bonus, isn't it now? That is the speed challenge. Very quick. And then you go to the center of the room, up the pillar, and you can get your reward. So for the stealth challenge then, that takes place in this grand looking room. When you're ready, you hop onto this pressure plate here, and that causes a number of blue lasers to start firing off all around the place. The aim is to get to the other side without touching any of these blue lasers. But if you're limbo, you don't care about lasers, so you can just walk straight through them. It's easy as that. One gravity defying moment later, and we're done. The last of the challenges then is the Octavia music puzzle, which you can quickly identify by the lovely sounding music in the background. This is a memory test. So as and when you're ready, these pads are going to light up in a sequence, a sequence you have to recognise, remember, and then carry out again. There we go, so it's on the right, left, up in the middle here, then back to the left. Now, interestingly, I don't know if this is a bug or not, but 
every single time I did this, it was the same sequence. That was whether I was alone, whether I was with a group, if I had the group do it, it was always the same sequence. That may get patched out, but for now, if you just remember that combination, you don't even have to pay attention. And there we go, with it successfully completed, the music comes to an end, and it's time to go claim our loot. So the first bit is actually up on the top here. Got a bullet jump your way up, we'll use some other means to get there. And this container has the Octavia chassis blueprint. The other container that has appeared, if you pop back down again, and then head over to the left hand side here. This container here, that is the one that can occasionally contain a former. Doesn't always have one, I didn't look out this time, but sometimes I'll have one there for you. Okay, that's the last of the challenges, so now you've got the tools to go and get your drift mods and get yourself the Octavia pieces. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe as well for more of these helpful guides, hints and tips. For now though, find puzzles, get loot, and fight well Tenno. Ah shit. Nope, wait. Come on. Oh, bollocks. No, 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 no. 